What's up everybody, Donnie here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be fishing the beach, targeting Pompano. I think this is uh, my third or fourth Pompano video here we're filming. Gotta love it man, gotta get them while it's hot. I'm surprised they're still at the beach. Usually when it's cold like this, you'll find them near the uh, power plants, but they are chewing on the beach, so we're going to give it a shot today. See if we can't get them. Let's see what happens guys, should be good. Check out this view. That water is gin clear. Pompano should be biting today. That's what we're gonna be targeting today. We're gonna be targeting Pompano using dark scoopy jigs out here on the beach. Hopefully the Pompano are chewing today. We got a good chance, man. The water is clear. Tide is moving. Light wind. So we got good conditions. We will see what happens, guys. Stay tuned, hopefully we crush it. We are here at the spot. Man, this water is so beautiful. Jeez, look at this, guys. Check out that water. Crystal clear. Yes, sir. That looks really good. All right. We are going to start fishing. And hopefully, hopefully the pompano are chewing today. All right. We're going to start off throwing the pink jig 3 8 with the chartreuse teaser. Let's see what happens, guys. Here we go. Hopefully the pompano are here, man. When they're not here, they're not here. Move on to the next spot. That's why it's important to have like a couple spots you can hit up. That way if that one spot doesn't, doesn't produce for you, then you can move on to the next one. Oh yeah, let's go. That might be a... Oh, that's a smaller pompano there. First fish of the morning. Fighter. These little guys fight over here at the spot, man. Took the teaser. Check them out. Little guy. All right. Check him out. Pretty fish, man. Look at that. Look at the color. Pretty awesome. They fight. These guys fight. You gotta love it. All right, we're gonna let them go right here. We're gonna swim out. See ya. There he goes. I don't know what it is, man. They just love, love dock goofy jigs with the a teaser. Sometimes they'll just hit the jig. Oh, ooh, that's a bite right there. But it's good to have the teaser tied on with the jig, with the loop knot. That's, a, that's another one there. A little small. Little guy. Hopefully the bigger ones show up. But we will see, man. These little guys fight. Same size as the other one. Eh, a little bit bigger, but definitely not a keeper. Targeted species, though. Chartreuse teaser I tied up with a little, little bit of silly, silly legs on it. But there's another one there. Same size, actually. Not bad. All right, I'm going to let him go right here. Same spot. Not bad, man. We've only been here, I say, 20 minutes, if that. And we got two pompano so far. For those of you guys that pompano fish, know that there's a lot of a lot of jigging, a lot of a lot of a lot of work put into it. It's not just finding the fish. You gotta do a lot of jigging. It's like labor work, man. You know, you're doing this 90% of the time and you're switching it up, you know, whether it be like something like this or like that. That's why it's important to have light tackle. Something like what I'm using right now, the Shimano X-Sense 3000, weighs just about like seven, six or seven ounces. And the Zodius rod, I think this is like one of the lightest, if not 
the lightest rod you can get, in my opinion, unless you go custom. But I can literally jig all day with this outfit here. There's a fish. A smaller uh, pompano again here. At least they are here, man. We're catching dink pompano over here today. Look like a little jack. Come here, buddy. Got him right on the corner of the mouth. Little guy. Fun to catch though. All right. See you, dude. All right, guys. The bite just stopped. We're going to make our way to the second spot and hopefully we get him over there. I don't know what this is. This might be a, either Pompano or a Cobia. Oh, he's rubbed. Ooh, broke off. Here we go. The tide is not moving yet. It's slowly starting to move actually, but it's not ripping out yet. The bite is uh, starting to pick up a little bit, but uh, no pompano yet. Uh, the fish that I lost, I don't know what that was. There might have been a, a bigger pompano or a, a cobia. Because I've caught cobia here the past two times I came here. I feel like a pompano, but it might be a lady. No, it feels like a pompano. Pompano. Hey, that's a, that's a decent one there. Might be a keeper. It's a keeper there. Not as big, but he's a keeper. It's like 12 to the fork there. They gotta be 11 inches to the fork. First one at this uh, the second spot here. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Tide started picking up, but the bite stopped. So we're just gonna call it a day. Just caught that one pompano. We're gonna come back out here another day though. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.